Welcome to Bible Study with Fred. Uh, this is part two of my comments on 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 1 to 7. I hope you'll watch the video from yesterday. Um, let's begin again. Let's read verse 1 to 7 again. Likewise, you wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives, while they behold their, their chaste conversation coupled with fear. Whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of the plating of hair, of plating the hair and of wearing gold, of gold, or of putting on of apparel. But let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also, the holy women also, who trusted in God, adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, are not afraid with any abasement, ab amazement. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. So now, um, let's pick it up in verse 2, chapter, um, part 2 of what I'm talking about here, my, my comments. Now, there are those women in the early church who were officials of the church from which they are sent, apostles and fellow workers. <laughs> Romans 16, 1 begins, I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Sincrea, that ye receive her in the Lord as become of saints, and that ye assist her in whatsoever business ye have need of you. For she hath been a succor of many, and of myself also. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus, who have for my life laid down their ne own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. See Acts 18 to note that this husband and wife were tent makers by occupation, as was Paul. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute my well-beloved Epinetus, under is who, who is the first fruits of Achaia unto Christ. Greet Mary, who bestowed much labor on us. Salute Adronicus and Junia, my kinsmen, and my fellow prisoners, who were of note among the apostles, who also were in Christ before me. Now, the traditional KJV notes, the King James Version notes that the letter, uh, that notes that the letter to the Romans was sent to them at the hands of Phoebe. For you Greekophiles, the word translated as servant is in reference to Phoebe, is the same word translated for deacon and minister elsewhere. And indeed, history teaches us that there were female deacons in the early church as well as in the early Baptist churches of the 1600s in England. Now, finally note, that God uses Sarah as an example, as he's talking specifically to Jewish Christians, and they are her daughters, so to speak, in her submission to her husband, which is voluntary, and not from fear of violence, as in not afraid with any amazement. They were to do right and not live in terror of their husbands. He added that as an important caveat. The lives of Christian women in the first century were very rich, and they were important to God. They fulfilled functions in the church that no American fundamentalist today would tolerate. But they were not to fight against the order that God put in place for the family, nor were they to depend on outward shows of ornamentation to show their beauty, but were to display the true beauty that comes from the heart in obedience to Christ. Likewise, or in the same manner, husbands were commanded to live with their wives with knowledge. Knowledge is a synonym of understanding and wisdom. Proverbs 2.6 for the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, cometh knowledge and understanding. Isaiah 11, 2. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. The husband is to show his wife honor and respect, which are biblical synonyms. Leviticus 19, 15. You shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the persons of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty. But in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Now, for two reasons. One, the wife is physically weaker, which is what the weaker vessel refers to. Romans 9.21. If not the power, the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. First Thessalonians 4.4. 4, that every one of you may know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Second Timothy 2.21. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. So it's an, it's an absurdity to insist that women are weaker mentally or spiritually as women tend to score higher on IQ tests than men when educational opportunities for them are more level. And most of the congregants in churches are women. It's almost laughable to regard someone as weak 
who can endure multiple childbirths and has the patience to raise children and will pray for children by name for decades daily. Women are simply physically weaker than men on average. And two, because the husband and wife are heirs together of the grace of life. Heirs, H-E-I-R-S. Genesis 2.20, as in someone who inherits something. Genesis 2.24, therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. Regarding each other as inferior, having that competitive aspect that some marriages have, bitterness, envy, domestic abuse, and other negative aspects of marriage are hindrances to prayer. Galatians 3.28, remember this verse. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Okay, we'll stop there and pick it up in verse 8 next time. Please read your Bible, study your Bible, cross-reference the verses, pray to God for wisdom and understanding, and then share your interpretation with someone else. Um, just open the Bible today and let God speak to you through his word. You can purchase my comments. Um, well, I have other commentaries. I don't have First Peter's letters in the Amazon, but you can purchase other commentaries there. Follow me on blogger.com if you want to read it, read it in writing. Um, and or just if you watch the video this far, please click like and subscribe or follow. Thank you very much.